But what we have seen trend for BYU this season is when they do have an early fall, they typically have yeah. another one, and they're counting at least one fall. Yes, that's what we're hoping to not see tonight, but that has been a little bit of a pattern, unfortunately. Here's Madeline Gomez to open up things for the Seawolves in their third rotation on the floor. On floor, we are looking for tumbling that goes both forward and backwards. Use of the entire floor, the gymnast needs to go to each of the corners. We're also looking for leaps, jumps, and turns to be done throughout the set. Prepping for her second pass. Front handspring, Rudy, straddle jump. You are allowed to do a jump out of one of your passes. It's a strategic move, you can get some bonus for it, but also sometimes it's a little bit easier to stick. The sticking rules on floor are different from the other three events. On the other three events, if you move your foot, it is a deduction. On floor, you are allowed one controlled step. It is called a lunge, and it is not a deduction. Round off, back one and a half, front layout into that lunge we talked about. Legs a tiny bit bent on that back one and a half. We'll see a slight deduction for that. Overall, got up, hit a routine, a little bit of pressure off the rest of the Seawolves. They know they have at least one score that should be pretty decent. Madeline Gomez, graduated by her teammates. And now back over to the balance beam where 